Hello there, I am John Grotel with more Pokemon Emerald. In the last part, we took on, or we got here to Marvel City basically. I think we battled May. We got the coin case from this one girl in the house that, okay. Uh, you came so close to catching a tentacle, I believe. I don't know if that's really. Something about a tentacle and you came so close to do something. Basically, you talk to this girl in here. The girls in here, you have to buy, you have to basically trade one harbor mail that you can buy in Swayport City, and then she'll give you a coin case, and then this person, this, um, Rock Dude, Rock Smash Dude, Rock Dude, Rock Smash Guy, will give you, um, HMO6 Watt Rock Smash, and I'm pretty sure it's HMO6. So, I have Speedy up front, we're gonna talk to Wally right here, he's just in front of the gym. Aw, oh, Uncle, please, I want to challenge the Sims in gym and see how much... Better I've become. Please, may I please? Now hold on, Wally. Since you started living with Pokemon, you have grown quite a lot stronger. But don't you think you're pushing it to suddenly challenging to suddenly challenge a gym? I'm not pushing it. I've combined voices with relics. We could be anyone. Oh hi, Grodel. I've got a lot stronger since we met. Since we met, <laughs> Grodel, I want you and my my uncle to understand that. Grodel, please. Will you have a battle with me? Of course. Girl, thank you. Okay, here I come. My dog is in my room, so I'm sorry if he makes noise. I mean, he's my dog. Of course he makes noise. That's okay. Uh, if it gets too loud, you know, I'll probably just like silence some of the commentary or something. I'll, I'll lower down the levels and stuff. I don't know. So I got take on Wally. He has level 16 Rolts right here. Now this Rolts does no confusion, so be in, be aware of that too. And we're just gonna head but this. Rolts. I'm five levels ahead of it, and it's one hit KO. Nice. Level 22 for Speedy. There we go. I lost. Uh, thanks for the $9.60, man. That's awesome. Uncle, I'll go back to Verid and Turf. Grodo, thank you. Being a trainer is tough, isn't it? It's not enough just to have Pokemon and make them battle. That's that isn't what being a real trainer is about. Well, hey, there's no need to be so down on yourself. Why? What's keeping you from becoming stronger and stronger? Come on, let's go home. Everyone's waiting for you. And after that, it. Wally's uncle will come up to you and say, Girdle, it just dawned on me that you must be the trainer who kept an eye out for Wally when he caught his Pokemon. Why don't you visit us in Verdant Turf sometime? I'm sure Wally would enjoy it. And now after that, you can take on the gym. And the gym oh, what the heck? Oh, it's Scott. <laughs> yeah. I played, um, Super Emerald, like, only halfway, because I've never really... Cause um, but I know what happens and what happens and all, cause I've seen videos and stuff. But yeah, I played a lot of Ruby. I played Ruby all the way through, but not really Emerald. Cause like, uh, my good, em my only Emerald that I really have, other than on the Emerald I do some stuff. I I have good Pokemon on my cartridge of Emerald, so that's why I haven't been playing through Emerald really much. But that's okay. Anyway, hee <laughs> hee. I was, I was watching that match. Your friends with that boy Wally, aren't you? But you didn't hold anything back and beat him impressively. Yeah, that's what a real Pokemon battle is all about. I idolize trainers. I idolize trainers like that. I'll be cheering for you. Right there, Scott. And as you see in this gym, the gym sign says Marvel City Pokemon Gym, Leader Watson. The cheerful, we electrifying man. So anyway, it, I'll show up the game corner right here. It's pretty cool. Wait, did we get bikes yet? Did we get a bike yet? Oh yeah, we did. Okay, I'm gonna actually put that on register, actually. Cool. So here's the game corner. The game corner sign says, The Play Spot for All, a Marvel game corner. Now, every time there's a game corner in a Pokemon game, I just buy the coins. I am bad at the slot, so I just end up buying them and saving up a ton of money to buy the coins. I know that's it's really not cheap, but... It's really not efficient either, because it costs a lot of money. Basically, some Marvel game corner. Are we looking for coins? You can buy 50 for $1,000, or $10. Or you can buy... 
you can buy 500 coins for $100 or $10,000. I'm just doing the currency because if every pocket dollar is one penny, then yeah, I'm just doing the conversions. Even though it's really not necessary. I just buy the 5,000 or 500 coins every time, and it's waste. And every time I do that, every time I do that, basically, I have to spend 10,000 pocket dollars. And I only have 42,870 pocket dollars right now, so I can only buy like. 20,000 coins right now or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I can't do the math right now. But anyway, here's your prizes. You can get TM32. Okay, well, I know I know that TM13 is Ice Beam, TM24 is Thunderbolt, TM35 is Flamethrower, TM29 is Psychic, and TM32. I'm thinking that's double team. I'll put a text overlay, correcting myself if I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure I know all those teams. So, as I said. Ah, uh, no, 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 I don't want the tree gun doll. I was just showing off it, sorry. Okay, so, on this side, you can buy polka dollars, which are for your Pokemon base. Which I'll make a video on that sometime in the future, but we have to have a certain TM called Secret Power to do that. So, I'll get to that later. You can buy the Trico doll, the Torchic doll, or the Monkey doll. But don't buy all three, because if you talk to this girl right here, she'll give you one of them. Yeah, you got two dolls. Would you like one of them? Yes. And I chose Torchic as my starter, so I'll get the Torchic doll. If you chose Trico, you get the Trico doll. And if you chose Mudkip as your starter, you get the Mudkip doll. So I have only have to buy the Trico and the Mudkip doll for my super base if I wanted to get the trio. So yeah. And... Let's see here, you don't have enough coins. Okay, hold on, I have to get coins. I think if you talk to some people, they give you coins, actually. It's pretty cool, actually. I like it. Um, I'm pretty sure. I, th I know what- I know some of these people give you coins. Hmm, interesting. I like coins in the trash, I doubt it. These two are just for decoration. These things are for just for decoration. Just gonna even use them. I'm empty, okay. So I checked everyone on this side, I checked her. Uh, I think this guy gives oh I think this um old Eldu dude gets you gives him coins. Okay, of course not. So I think like in I remember the Celadon game corner for Pokemon Fire Red, Leaf Green, Red Blue and Yellow. And green for Japan, you'd get some people would give you coins. But yeah. So does that mean I have to buy coins? Because if that's true, I'm a that's a drag. Oh, I got 20 coins. Okay, that's cool. So this guy right here next to the benches will give you 20 coins. Okay. So if you want to play the slots, here's basically how it works. You can wager up to three coins, and three is the best because you can get the diagonal plus the. Okay, basically one is just horizontal. If it matches up horizontally, right in the middle, as you see right there. If you if you want to um, wager two coins, you get that all three rows horizontally. Um, that yeah, basically all three rows horizontally that go left and right. Plus you get all of them because wager two coins. But if you wager three coins, you get all three of the horizontal lines. And you get the diagonals. So, like for example, I wager three, and like let's see what I get. I'm not really good at timing this. So that's a lose. Dang it! You kind of just explode there. But yeah, I always kind of do three because I have the best. Ch you get the best chances of matching something up because like, you have all three of them to go. But um, it also wastes. It also costs more coins. It costs the most coins. So select this info. Real time, here's your chance to take aim and nail marks. Real time continues for the awarded numbers of spins. It's all it's all ends on the big bonus. On a big bonus. And basically to the right of the screen right there, the big bonus is either three three red sevens in a row or three blue sevens in a row. You get three hundred coins. Which is pretty awesome. Then then the regular bonus is the two Red red sevens plus a blue seven is ninety, and then the two the, the two blue sevens plus a red seven is also ninety, and then an zoom reel and three zoom reels in a row is twelve. I can't really. 
Was that a wet track or just a green patch or something? I don't know. But yeah, three of those will give you six. Anything with one cherry to the far left will give you two or four, and then basically all that stuff. Uh, three replays and we'll give you replay and power. I'm not really sure about that. But yeah. I'm gonna try one more time. Let's see if I get anything. Yep, I. Let me try one more time and that's it, I promise. Well, I'm bad at this. Uh, see, this is why I buy the coins, honestly. I, I just buy the coins when I have enough money. And well, let me go back to the TMs. This, I think there's a couple TMs I want to get. I know I want to get TM35, because I want to teach that too. I want to teach Flame th TM35 to uh, Blaine eventually. Because when it, when he does evolve into Blaze, when when she does evolve into Blaziken, she will take her so long to learn Flamethrower. Actually, or she might not even be able to learn Flamethrower at that point for some reason. I don't know. But yeah, that's why I want to get the Flamethrower team, and I kind of want to get early. Um, I don't need I don't need Psychic, and I don't need Double Team if that's Double Team. I think I really only need. I think I only really only need Flamethrower. I might need Thunderbolt, but I'm not sure. And I I don't need Ice Beam. I know that because I. Cause I have some. I, you can get ice cream later on in the game too. So yeah. And yeah. So how many coins do I need to save up for that again? I'm sorry. Um, four thousand coins. Okay. So I'm gonna have to save up mo money or something. I don't know. How I'm gonna do it. But I should be able to purchase it sooner or later. So there's the game corner for ya. And if you go up north, I'll just show this off real quick. There's a couple battles throughout 111. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go east. I'm gonna go east. Actually, I'll hold out for west for the next part. So yeah. So again, I have spikes up front. Or not spikes. I'm thinking of my nickname for my other Zigzagoon and Ruby and Sapphire. But my Pokemon Ruby walkthrough guide. Anyway, I'm mean, I'm Speedy up front, and I figure who's in my second slot. Go go go! Pokemon one, two, and three. Nice. I I skipped over the Rumor Ladies dialogue. I'm sorry. Roselli, huh? And a Ziggas Goon, nice. Night and Speedy. <laughs> Let's headbutt that Roselia and headbutt that Roselia. Okay. Now it's just headbutt that Ziggas Goon then. Oh, they have a they have, each have three Pokemon, I think. Pretty sure they each have three Pokemon. We got this. Believe in yourself, guys. Stand strong. Of course, tail up lowers both my Pokemon's defense, but that's okay. On Aeron, nice. We got this. You guys are doing great! <laughs> okay, another Roselia, nice. Roselias actually give out really good experience, actually. And especially a trainer's Roselia, because that even gives out more. I thought that was always cool. I'm gonna mud slap the Aeron. Not my Aeron, of course, the enemy, foe's Aeron. Or enemy and foe are basically the same thing. <laughs> and there we go, the mud slap. And it only does half, but that's okay. It's getting hard and raise up its defense. Nice. Let's, um. Headbutt won't do anything on this Aeron, but let's should take it out. Yeah, I know. Aeron has high defense, plus it's, um. Four times resistant against normal attacks, because rock, it's rock and steel. I'm pretty sure it's four times resistant. Electric, yay! Electric makes a good Pokemon in this game. It makes a fairly good uh, electric type Pokemon. But if you want to wait, I, I think I think Magnemite might actually be really cool to use on if you're looking for an electric type. But you don't get that till after you get the HM for Surf, which is quite a long ways in, through the game. But that's okay. Okay. Oh dear me, I seem to have lost. 
Come on, Pokemon. Are you okay? Pokemon 1, 2, and 3. Thanks for the $7.84. Really appreciate it, dude. Sniff that odor. It's a Pokenav. We must register each other. Great, yay. Another person to interrupt me while I'm talking or moving my character. Basically, I'm just moving my character around. So, I want to put a speedy... I'll put Prime up front, actually. Prime seems cool. Do you say anything? Okay, you just say stuff, okay. Even if there isn't, there isn't a, a boat, you can cross rivers and see if you have a Pokemon that knows Surf. Pokemon can be... Pokemon can be counted on to do so much. I know. Oh, you have, a, you have electric types, don't you? Let me, let my melody rock your soul. I'm pretty sure you have like Magnemite's Volatile or something like that. You're a guitarist, of course. Magnemite. Prime and I, Prime and I might not be the best matchup for this. Yeah, I'm gonna switch. I'm sorry, Prime. I'm gonna switch to Blaine, actually. Blaine can take this Magnemite out. Let's get his tackle. I take the hit. Let's use Ember, yeah. Same type of attack most, too. There we go. It's super effective because Magnemite is part steel, or half steel in this game. In the original games of Red, Blue, and Yellow, it was only Electrotype. But now that it's third generation, and even Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green were still counted as third generation, which was pretty cool. It became uh, electric and steel type, so it became half steel then. Wishmer. I'll keep me in because I have double kick, and I'll be super effective against this Wishmer. Double kick. There we go. There we go. Nice, nice. I like it, I like it. And that's all she wrote. And level 23 for Blaine. Way to go. La la la. <laughs> Thanks for the four dollars and the essence, man. You rock. And not because you're just a guitarist. Haha. <laughs> when I suppose better when I compose better melodies, you have to come listen, okay? Sure. <laughs> I'll come listen. <laughs> sure. That's gonna happen. And this fisherman dude. I'm gonna switch back. Uh, Prime should be able to take this fisherman dude on. For fisherman, equipment is the key. But for trainers, the key ingredients are Pokemon at heart, of course. Very well said. Although, that's your opinion. But it's a very good opinion. Fisherman Wade. A tentacle, huh? Let's go with the. Uh, let's go with a roller combo. See how we can do with a roller combo. Okay, that's good. Constrict. I take the constrict. And you mess with the- oh, come on. And you can strict again. At least it's not like rap or fire spin in the original po in the original games of Red, Blue, and Yellow. Cause that- even in Pokemon Stadium, like, it kept on going and going and going till you missed or- Till you got- well basically till it missed, cause that's when it actually stopped. But it kept on going on and on and on and- got really annoying because especially if you battle if you got up the lance of the league four pokemon stadium at jim leader castle he would have a dragonair that has rap and it was so annoying i'm not i'm gonna be honest with you it was pretty annoying i didn't like that dragonair because just kept on using rap over and over and over and it got really annoying and i didn't like it Anyway, I'm gonna still hit myself in confusion. Come on, Prime, you gotta believe in yourself. You better not poison me. Good. I snapped out, uh, Prime snapped out of confusion. I wasn't confused, Prime was. Thanks for the critical hit, man. And that's all she wrote. And level 22 for Prime, yay. Fisherman Wade was defeated. I was beaten in a heart. Thanks for the six dollars four cents. I guess you were, I mean. I mean, it makes sense, yeah. And I guess that will be a front. So that's really all I wanted to cover. Let's see how are we doing on time. Yeah, it's like almost 21 minutes in real time of actual recording time. I mean, when I say real time, I mean actual recording time on like how how long it is with with 
um, without having to do any editing or cuts in the video. So we're gonna take on what lies west of Marvel City, and plus we just take on. Dang it! Okay, he's talking to me. Beep, Wally. Oh, hi, oh it's Wally. How oh, high, girl? Oh, yeah. I was. I wanted to tell you that my uncle bought me a pumpkin half. Now I can get in touch with you anytime, girl. Click. And we register Wally in the Pokemon. That's actually pretty cool because Wally's a nice guy. And we'll also try to take on this battle up here on Route 111. And I'll show what's up there in the next part. And we can't really access up there until we beat the gym and stuff, but you know. So let's finish out and go again. I would like to thank you again. Goodbye and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Mode walkthrough guide.